Hey everybody, I have a beginner arm balance workshop coming up this Friday. So I wanted to share a little bit about what to expect and what you're gonna learn through that process. So beginner arm balance workshop means we're gonna be a little bit lower to the ground. So nothing like crazy handstands or crazy transitions when you're way upside down, you actually are keeping your legs and everything pretty close to the ground. So falling is not gonna be a huge deal and it's gonna happen. And we're gonna be at Mojo Fit Studios. So that means that the floor's a little more squishy. So falling is not that big of an issue because the floor's squishy and soft. Um, we've got like bolsters and pillows and blankets in case for like crash pad landings, if that's something that you're concerned about. So the biggest thing actually that we go through is trying to get over that fear of getting your feet off the ground. Sometimes you'll be upside down in arm balances. Sometimes you're just getting the feet off the ground and you're not quite upside down, but it's still getting over that fear of falling. And that's that mental shift is going to be a big thing. So we're gonna work on that. The poses that we're gonna work on in beginner arm balance workshop is um, the main one. First beginner arm balance pose is crow pose. So crow or crane pose, there's a couple different ways you can do this. First, we're going to really work on the shoulders and getting strong through the core and the shoulders and lengthening the hamstrings. So we gotta warm up first. After we get our, our all warmed up and I um, teach you about the importance of our core strength and, and building those muscles, we're getting into learning crow pose. So crow pose is a pretty low one. You're down in a squat, usually you start in a squat, hands to the floor, lift the heels, look forward, that's an important thing. Lift your butt, look forward, and shift weight into your hands. Fingers are spread wide, and one foot at a time will come up. So you're pretty low to the ground because you've got bent elbows. And that is a typical crow pose. And then getting into crane pose, which is the way I've learned. So crane pose is full bakasana pose. So it's a lot more core strengthening, and you're a little bit higher. Your arms are straight. So then we'll practice that one as well. So you lift up, take the hands down. So you lift your butt really high. Hands are straight, knees are in your armpits. Straight arms, lots of core strength, look forward still, heels to your butt. So we'll practice that one and then some exercises to get into that. And also baby crow. So once you get your hips open, feeling good, baby crow is kind of fun. It's still an arm balance, it's a forearm balance. We're down on the floor, hands down, elbows down. You gotta get lots of hip opening here so you can shimmy in through the legs. Hands down, elbows down, look forward, lift the feet, squeeze your knees on the, the triceps. So you've got that one. <laughs> and you're so low to the ground that you know you just fall out of it. Um, next thing we're gonna learn is side crow variations. Still in the crow family. So uh, the warm ups and stuff, you'll need to take it to the side. Now there are two options with side crow. One is a a, um, making a shelf with your elbows, so elbows on the hip and the knee, hands down and we lean. This is much easier. Then you can do any kind of variation with the legs. So you're just making a shelf. The second version is an actual side, like side crane, where your hands are facing forward. This elbow's not on your hip. Place it on the ground, lift your butt, look forward, and lift the legs. Side crow in that way. So those are all our crow variations. Then we'll get into things like a tripod headstand. If you've got neck issues, I would just say to skip this one. But the importance of making a triangle base, hands are actually back pretty far. Your head's not in a straight line with the hands, actually comes forward, heads on the floor, hands on the ground, chaturanga arms, tuck the toes, walk the feet in, one knee at a time to your elbows, and possibly we take it up depending on how you're feeling. And as a little additional bonus, if you can come back up to crow pose from there, we'll work on some fun little transitions like that. Other things we'll work on are mostly building strength to get into some of these arm balances. And the strength comes from a lot of its core strengthening. So let me show you what we got here. We could use blocks. I've got these fancy dancy things. Um, we're going to be working on some jump throughs, so using blocks. Jump throughs look like this. This is core strengthening. Jump throughs look like this. You're in down dog and you jump through. And then practicing kind of picking yourself up. Putting weight into the hands, pick up, lower. Full L sit, you'd lift your legs, everything up. 
So it's getting that lift, the Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha, everything lifting up together. And the whole excuse where your arms are too short for that, it's a lie. That just means you have to work a little bit more, maybe. Um, but to shorten this torso area and press, it's important to around the shoulders, going through all of that. I'll also be teaching you some ways to work the wrists and make sure they're not sore, some ways to work the shoulders and upper body and the importance of that, hamstring flexibility when it comes to anything upside down. We'll practice some forearm stuff against the wall. Forearm and headstands too, against the wall. So being as this is beginner, we're really gonna focus on just getting the feeling for being upside down, less so much, um, less so much having to master it. So it's okay if you don't master it. We've got intermediate arm balance the next month. Come back and learn a little bit more. So with forearm balances, we'll learn here the proper way to kick up to the wall, hold here, and really focusing on that upper body where the elbows and shoulders are, and just using the wall as a kickstand or a little safety net. Go back down. So expect to feel stronger through the shoulders, upper body and core strength. Got to get through all that stuff. And then just to play around with some arm balances. And we've got some other ones too that are fun to do. We've got, I don't even know what it's called. Sometimes it's called flying lizard or egg something, kundanyasana, um, A, B or C, I'm not sure. Uh, I call it like running man, I think was one of them. But we're down here and this will be an arm balance here. We've got the twisted version of that. So it's kind of like chair right here. Um, if your hips are open, we're gonna get into eight limb pose or eight angle pose. Bringing everything up, lifting, hold, cross the legs, and into this pose. And then transit, maybe not transition so much, but just the pose, getting it in the intermediate arm balance class that we have We'll have next month, you'll get more into those transitions where you might be, let's say, in this pose here. We wanna transition into this pose, into the chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Transitions will come later. So this beginner arm balance workshop is for anybody at any level to develop the strength and get out of that fear mentality of um, putting weight into your hands. <sighs> okay, that's enough demo for now. I look forward to working with you. I hope you're able to make it. That's this Friday, October 13th. And also another opportunity on, I think, December 1st from 6 to 8 p.m. at MojoFit Studios. If you want to sign up for that, mojofitstudios.com. Go to the workshops page and you can, sign, you can sign up. Find more about me and the awesome workshops and things I have going on at ashesyoga.com backslash forward slash events. Just go to my events page and they'll all be listed there. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. Bye.